Hi friends, it's Natalie here. Thank you for joining with me on another video for Illustrated Faith. Have you been enjoying documenting your gratitude this November as much as I have? Um, I don't think it matters if you got the, the journal um, or you didn't, but I think that November is obviously a time where we come and think about giving thanks for all of the blessings that God has given us. And uh, this, um, the journal that Illustrated Faith um, put out, I think, has just been a really great prompt to get you to think about different um, aspects of that. And of course, it's a great way of allowing us the space to do some illustrations and, and uh, our creative outlet as well. Um, I wanted to show you a bit of a quick look through um, my journal as it stands. It's not finished, it's nowhere near finished, uh, but um, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I've done already and then I'm going to show you a page as we or as I go about and do it. So you saw me do the front cover in my last video. I have um, put all of the prompts almost like an index on the front page and then I have not done the prompts in any kind of order. I have actually just done them as I've wanted to as I felt led to do them each day. So um, each day I've put the little uh, bow tab and I've stamped the date on here so you can see for example that I did the Jesus prompt back on the 2nd of November but the salvation not until the 12th of November um, and I've done it in different ways like here I've done my stamping and my journaling here I've done more of sort of my scrapbooking papers but I have uh, put a little uh, bit of journaling underneath the flap because I think when you actually go to write down stuff it, it really uh, makes you think about it all the more like I think we're very good at doing the decorations um, and you know that gets us into the word and I think that's fabulous but I think when you actually have to write stuff down it makes it so much more meaningful um, for us or at least that's what I feel so there's a couple more pages uh, this one I just I love this printable it's so good and again I've used it as a flap to write my uh, journaling underneath um, that's a little one I did on um, my reaction, I guess, to the horrible events happening in Paris. Um, I have cheated a little bit on some of the pages and I've added some things that I know that I'm going to want when I get to them. But, for example, I obviously haven't written anything for the home prompt yet, but I found this cute home transparency and I just added it in at the time so that I can go in and fill that page in later. There's that stamping um, that so many of you uh, in, enjoyed when I posted that on Instagram. Thank you. It's always so encouraging when you, um, I guess, like the things that I do. But that's not the reason, of course. Uh, this page was very special to me just in the sense of it got me um, writing just one-liners about the people that are very special in my life. And, uh, and I've written a little thing about why I love them. So uh, I've got God, my husband, and then my three kids um, as the five numbers there that you can see. Um, you can see that, uh, for example, when I did this page and I put all those ink splatters there, that it has bled through onto the back. Um, and so when I come to do this freedom page, you know, I'm either just going to go over the top and, and it's not going to bother me one bit, or I'm going to go in and do something like one of the printables so that it sort of covers it up. So you can see that's exactly why I did this printable here, because of the um, the bleed through from uh, this page here. And that works for me. Um, you know, I treat this almost a bit like an art journal sometimes, you know, I just splash some paint on and then I try and make it work afterwards. And that's what it's all about. It's just, for me, a bit of a creative outlet as well as that sort of journaling prompts here. Um, here, this is kind of like my Bella Boulevard pages, <laughs> all Bella stuff um, here. And it's so fun, isn't it? I just, I love those colours. They're almost sort of citrusy. They're quite springtime and, and I'm in spring at the moment. So uh, I guess that's why I was really drawn to these colours on, on these occasions. Uh, that was my very first one that I did. Again, cheating. I've added some little uh, little bits of tape there for challenges. All oh, cheated a lot on this one. <laughs> I'll come to write some stuff in there and then I'm going to have to make it fit with the uh, embellishments that I've already got. 
um, random things that I found in my collection um, as I was going to find something else presumably and then I've gone oh look <laughs> that'll look really nice it fits perfectly there I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with it later <laughs> bit more stamping on the gratitude one and the the printable down here um, unity talking about together we are one and some more blank pages here at the end on mission where I went a little bit crazy with all of the scrapbooking supplies and then tucked my uh, journaling here on a tag in there and I think that's essentially where I'm up to and then the back cover so um, today I am going to do the uh, prompt about courage and I have again um, I've I had previously made I've made um, some of these cute lions um, for a project. I've just cut them out um, and uh, I had some of these spare ones. And in fact, I ended up with sort of these spare parts of a lion, if you like, that don't fit anything else. And, and this one was actually really wonky and, and his ear got cut off. But you know what, instead of throwing it away, I'm gonna stick it in my journaling, uh, gratitude journaling um, journal today. Um, and because I think a lion is obviously quite representative of courage. Now one of the bits I was missing for this lion is his mane so I'm going to draw that in um, with my pen first of all. I'm going to quickly give myself a guide by going around his head and then ooh, see it's going to take courage for me just to do this I'm just drawing a mane for goodness sake. Not that hard. Maybe I can journal about that. Courage in art. <laughs> anyway, that's good enough, isn't it? That's a mane. That's a mane shape. Um, let me s stick his head back in. I guess I could have just stuck it in and then drawn my mane. Oh, and then I'm going to add some colour using um, my Pit Artist Big Brush Pen. I have no plan here. Wonky bit of a mane. Let's give him some... Oh, obviously there's something bumpy underneath my page there. I'm probably going to want to colour some of this in, I think. I could be using my paints um, for this, or coloured pencils, or anything. I'm going to go in with this first of all. I think when you create like this, it, it's really quite freeing. You know, I, as I said, I've got sort of no real plan here. Winging it, totally. Uh, capturing it on video <laughs> so you can watch me when I make mistakes. Um, I want more of a different shade for that extra bit so why don't I pull out my trusty watercolours like I normally would if I could find them. Oh, here we go. a redder one let's do that do for now. Let's put more of his body on. I've got a little blue body for this line because that's the colour that I have left over. This is going to be his nose and this is his tail. And we'll give them a bit more definition.
and we need to draw in some more details. Here's his nose and ears and eyes. Maybe we'll paint those in as well. Maybe we want a blue to go with his body. I don't know, he's a very colourful lion, isn't he? Um, as I said, I always have been adding these little bow tabs um, whenever I complete a page. So I cut out a whole bunch uh, earlier of different colors and then I just kind of find a color that I think will work. That's kind of the same color as his body, isn't it? The yellows might be a bit too much gray. Or do we want to stick with the green? Let's give him the green one. Right about there. And now we need, or I need, just to add my journal in. And I always keep these um, stickers on hand as well um, because they're just, I think, little extra details that work really well. And often these have really sort of little sayings in there that will work with what I'm talking about. So how about I can do all things through you? That'll work for courage, won't it? Oh, he's just a touch too long. Snip off one of the hearts on each end. And we'll just, I'll add my journaling. So I finished my journaling. I sewed on the tab and added the date and um, then you know as much as I don't think these journals are so much about what it looks like or uh, you know is it artistic enough or does it look pretty enough uh, sometimes I just take you know a bit of a step back and just go it mm, looks a little bit funny still what how can I make that um, a little bit more appealing and I think the blue body is a little bit strange but I can't do much about that I could paint over the top but I'm not sure what color to paint it so I'm just gonna leave it and go mm, whatever <laughs> um, there's a little bit of blank space up here and I just was gonna add another one of these stickers that says you strengthen my heart underneath courage so that kind of um, matches with the one we've got down here sorry down here um, maybe do we need one more nah don't not gonna <laughs> so look that's all I'm really gonna do um, I, you know I think this is a great project for just being able to do one page at a time, being able to do things quickly, being able to journal out your thoughts, being able to have a bit of a creative outlet at the same time um, and, and not really worry about what the finished pro um, uh, product <laughs> looks like, but just about really pouring out your heart. And, and I think that's why I'm, I'm really enjoying uh, this gratitude documented project throughout November. I hope you're having a lot of fun with your journal as well, however you're doing it, through the journal or in your diary or wherever, in your prayers. Um, but thank you for joining with me as I've just shown you a bit of a glimpse into mine today. I'll catch you later. Bye.